would have been the review from the, the review vocabulary from the uh, chapter two in the Greek book. Acer. It's like, it's spelled like Acer, right? Yes, A-C-E-R. Next 
This one is Contra. Hello. One of the principal parts of up hello, Ashley. Very nice. So this is the first conjugation group. So O R I L we optus. And piece is it two P's and two L's? Or it's uh yes, two L's and two P's. Okay. And all of them. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, it's first conjugation. First conjugation. So O R A L we optus. What does it mean? To name, to call. How key is what part of speech? Um, adjective. Adjective. Good. So how key is the masculine form? Remember, it only appears in the plural because you can't have one few. Okay. So how key is masculine? What's the feminine form going to be? How key. Pakai, uh -huh. and the neuter form. Pauka. Pauka. Okay. So Pauki, Pauka, Pauka. P A U C A. For for the yeah. feminine form, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it means a few or few. Or less. Nope, it means few. Okay. What was the neuter? Pauka. Right. That neuter plural always ends in ah. <laughs> Salus, okay, salus, what's the genitive? I'm sad, guys. It's an old word. Sali. So remember what it means? Health. Health and safety, so. right? So. What would the genitive yeah. be? Remember, the genitive or that stem is where most of our English derivatives come from. Salute. Salute. It's third declension. Salute. Salutis. Salutis. So salus, salutis means health or safety. Okay. So what gender is it going to be? It's an abstract noun. Masculine. Abstract nouns are always feminine, guys. Here. Very nice. Akhir, Akhir, Akhre. Good. And what does it mean? Sharp. Sharp. Fierce, keen. A C R E. Trado. Trotteray. Trotteray. So it's a third conjugation. Trado, Trotteray. Tradidi. Good. And. Traditus, very nice. And what does tradwell mean? Give across. Give across, hand over. Okay, so remember it can mean either to hand down, like tradition, or to betray, like traitor. It has both meanings. Can you define it as to trade? To trade? Or is that not? Right? Um, that's a little too specific, right? You could use it that way, right? Like you're trading things because you're giving them across. But I would say to hand over or to give over which is also just a kind of a literal translation of the word. Um, imperium. What's the genitive going to be, guys? 
imperi, gender, neuter. neuter. Okay, so even if you have no idea what the word is, you can always put that much, right? If it ends in om. Okay, so imperi, neuter, what does it mean? Power, command. Right, it's what the imperator, what the emperor has. Ah, uh, where to? Is it a where to? Right? It is also a compound of where to, which we've had for a long time. So to turn away. To turn away, exactly, is the main part. <coughs> so a where to, a where to, a. To avert. Okay. To what? To avert. Uh, yes, so long as you can tell me what avert means. Yes, so you might as well just put turn away. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not sure. Uh -huh. Okay. Aware T. Aware T and aware SOS. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Aware T. Put all of that correct. Good. 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 Follow. Follow. Follow A. Also third foundation. Fefeli. Good. Fefeli. So it's F E. F E. What does it mean? Uh, well, we have got oh. the fourth principle part. So, follow, follow, re, fefeli, what's the fourth principle part? Falsus, or falsum, good. And what does it mean? To deceive. To deceive. Very nice. Contra. Against. Against, and what else do you have to give me for plus preposition? Accusative. Plus the accusative, nice. Okay, so contra plus accusative means against. And ignis. Ignis. Ignis is the also the genitive. Mm -hmm. Good. So remember the gender of ignis. It's probably not masculine. It is masculine. So it it's is. masculine. Oh. Mm -hmm. And what does it mean? Fire. Fire. Good. Okay. So again, we will have a quiz on Thursday. So hopefully you've been studying these. If this came as a total shock and you've got very few of these words right, that means you have a lot of studying to do for Thursday. Okay. We're also going to have a new chapter of vocab today. So. Okay. Oh, so I'll call it. Did you need 30 minutes to apply signs? Was there a tracker? That was there I don't know why. It never took me more than 20 before. I was just late yesterday because I left it. <laughs> I, I ordered the people. Okay. Very nice. Have you restricted it? Should be here in like a week. Hopefully, although maybe it'll go randomly. Okay, uh, let's look at the new cousins, the reading that you had, which I hear was not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. I think as you kept all the way up better. Okay, I thought you were going to say all of them. Okay, page 11, a new cousin. Oh, what? Can I do the first session? Sure. So if I can do the first one. Oh, I um, it was day. Oh, it was era Publius. I guess I'll talk to him. Uh, we know what the P stands for. What does the P stand for? Publius. It also Publius. says on the next page. Good. So it is Publius, but we're going to have to change it to what case? He ran ad patrem publi. Um. Mm -hmm. I kill him and it was a Publius ran head first to his father and set the light down. Set the light down. Can you um, It was a Publius ran head first to his father and said hello to him. Good to his father, Publius Caecilia, and said hello to him. So there's that yeah. salus that you guys saw. Thanks, Dr. Mark, are you ready? No, I'm still trying to look for it because I don't even start the class that's straight in the book. Um, Corpus. 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 Cor
Pedro Properas Pedro Rogale. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll do the next. Sure. No name of more antennas. Tempos a des quo. Um, Cus des furious erit nostro. Um, so, why hasten? His father asked. Or why are Properas? Why are why are you hastening? You're hastening, yeah. Why are you rushing around? Um, do you not remember? Um, I didn't really get this next part of the time. Uh -huh. The time odd dest. So, est is what? The time is. 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 And odd, what does odd mean? Two. Two, Two or sometimes. Odd. Is it? <laughs> what else can odd mean? In. Uh, not in, but uh, at. at or. If it's not with a verb of motion, remember I am standing odd still long. Near. 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 Okay. So the time is near. Is near or is present. Uh -huh. Good. And it's the time quo. The time which. Good. And what case is quo? The date of. Not data, because that'd be cool. Quo is ablative. Couldn't be accused of it would have an M on it. Okay, uh, so ablative, we've had a time word, so this is probably the ablative of time. 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 So we're going to say the time is here. At which or in which? Uh -huh. Good. At which Quintus Furious will be ours. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, it does no mess. <laughs> <laughs> but it is perfectly translated. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, okay. um Quintus Furies and the Bis Firmus Publi Erat. If you like. Um Familia Quinti Novilis said Papa Fuit. So Quintus Furious was Julius's um, firm friend, or good friend. Good, very nice. The family of Quintus was noble but poor. Good, very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, which line are we on? Line six, Pater Eos. Um, Pater Eos, sex libros, uh, said <laughs> pecunia non 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 habuit. Uh, his father had six slaves, but not a lot of money. He had six. The barrows. Workers. Workers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> books. 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 No, not books. No, 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 children. 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 Oh. Yeah, that took me a while because I was like, he yeah, had six books. Quite a lot. But no, because if it was books, it would be what? Not liberos. Slaves. 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 Slaves could be children. I'm mm -hmm. just. In that yeah. time. Libros oh, without the e in there. Good. So this has to be either he had six free men. Or six children. <laughs> so probably six children. Six children. But not a lot of money. Okay. That makes more sense. Um, uh, Leah? What does M stand for? What does the M stand for? Marcus. 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 Um, Marcus um, Frater. Publius. 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 But here we're going to have to put it in what case? Publi. Actually, they had a problem with the aristocracy. A lot of them didn't have any children, so adoption was a pretty common thing. Sometimes, like, Augustus passed a bunch of laws saying you should try to have more kids, so it seemed to be like they were kind of the population of the, of the aristocrats was declining. So, so the goal was to have some children. The same, the family's name. Exactly. I don't know that they would want to have, like, a billion, like a lot of yeah. children. Six would be a lot for them. Um, but then again, remember, a lot of children died. Where are we? Wait. 
are two different people, right? They're in two different cases. Oh, so, so Publius. Publius said to Marcus. To Marcus, good. And what Ted says, Dixerat? Had said. Had said. Mm -hmm. Good. So what's the relation between Publius and Marcus? <laughs> They're brothers, good. Okay. So you have the one brother is saying to the other, don't you want to adopt a son because you have none of your own? When he had six children, and none of them were the same. <laughs> no, so there's there's a couple different guys here. So we have so our Publius, who is the boy we met in the last chapter, his father is Publius Caecilius. <coughs> Remember, he and his father would have had the same name. And Publius Caecilius has a brother, Marcus Caecilius, right, who is rich but has no children. They have a friend named what? What's their friend's name? Marcus. Quintus. Oh, it's Quintus Furius, and he's the one who's poor but has a lot of kids. So basically, the, there's one rich man with no kids and one poor man with a lot of kids. Okay, um, Ida? Charitae responded, Marcus, omnes Romani filios obeyer cubiebant, quod filii nomen familiae servabant, deos familiae colebant. You're not done yet. Oh, why God? Just three more words. Oh, Patreon potestantem confirma font. Okay. All Romans wanted to have sons because they saved the family name, worshipped the family gods, and confirmed the power of the father. Okay, good. And what about the caretake? Oh, certainly responded Marcus. Certainly responded Marcus. Okay. So all Romans wanted to have sons because Philae, because sons, preserved the family's name or the household name, worshipped the household's gods, confirmed the Hatria. Preserved the name. So that because sons preserved or kept the name of the of the family or of the household, they collebant the deos familia. Worship family. Worship the gods of the family, right? It's genitive. And confirmabant. Confirmed. Confirmed or strengthened the patria potestas. Of the father. father. Mm -hmm. Good. Therefore, multi erant adoptiones inter Romanos. What's that going to mean? There are many adopted people. There were many, or just adoptions, right? There are many adoptions inter Romanos. Between the Romans, or among the Romans. And here, Luki, because it's genitive. <coughs> so, Filius Minimus, Luki Amili Pauli. Uh, Luki Amili Pauli, a uh, uh, Publius. A Publi, what case is going to come after a? E. What case comes after a? Dative. Not dative. Keister? Ablative. Ablative. So, a Publi. Uh, a Publi. What's the ablative singular? A Publi, very nice. Uh, Cornelio Filione Filio Ducis 
Bari Adoptatus est et postea Publius Cornelius Scipio Aemilianus Africanus Apelbator. I did not get most of that. So that's okay. So most of it is just the names, but okay. I know it's hard to work around them because they're so strange looking. So the Filius Minimus. So the youngest son uh -huh. of Luci Aemili. Of Lucius. So now we, in English we want to use the, the nominative form of the name. So of Lucius Aemilius Paulus. And that's our subject, right? Because filius minimus is nominative. So then we want to find our verb. What happened to this youngest son of Lucius Aemilius Paulus? Um, was adopted. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Was adopted. By. Good. Um, by Publio Cornelio. Publius, right. We want to use that yeah. nominative. So Publius Cornelius Scipio who was the uh, Filio Ducus Clari. Uh, who was adopted by Publius Cornelius Scipio, the Filio. The son uh -huh. um, of uh -huh. a famous leader. Of the famous general. Good. Good. Um, at Postea. Afterwards, he apelabator. He was. Oh, um. Uh, named. Good. He was named or he was called. Was and then that whole thing is now his name. So Publius Cornelius Scipio Aemilianus Africanus. Oh. Okay. So he started out being called after his father. So and when he was adopted, he got all the other names added on to them. Good, that was tricky. Were there any questions about that? Okay. Um, Adolf? Augustus, let's say. Uh, what is the C stand for? This one's tricky. Caesar. What's the C stand? Gaius, Gaius right? Oh. Oh. The things are on the next page in the yellow box. If you just put one picture. Well, I mean, Gaius. Or, or you can just see this person. Um, Wait, what? Caius? Gaius. It starts with a G. The abbreviation is a C. Gaius. Uh, but we have to make it what case here? Ah. Uh, Gaio. 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 Caesare Adam. Gaio Julio. Caesare. Caesare. Adaptatus. Era et nomen totem quad. Whom sumpsit era. Gaius, Julius, Kaiser, Octavianus. Augustus himself mm -hmm. was adopted by Gaius Julius Caesar. Good. One little thing, it's not he was adopted, because that would be adoptatus est. What's adoptatus erat? Had, had, had been. Had been. Mm -hmm. Good. Had been adopted by and Gaius Julius Caesar. He was, and, um, and then Julius Caesar called him. Uh, we don't have that. We have it and nomen totum. And his entire name. Good. The entire name, quad tum sumsit. Which then had been adopted. Uh, sumo, sumo, what did we get for that? Good. So the, and the whole name which he tum sumsit, which he then. Had taken. Uh, what tense? Sumsit. Just. Took. Took. Good. And the name which he then took. Was era. <laughs> Gaius Julius Caesar Octavian. Good. So he was adopted by Gaius Julius Caesar, so therefore he took the whole name of his adopted father, Gaius Julius Caesar, with his own name added on.
on to the back. Uh, no, yeah, it would depend on who it was. Like in public, if it was a formal occasion, you would use all the names. Probably within the family, you would use like the like the in this type of setting. We would use. What? In like this type of setting, we would use which name would we use of? Uh, usually, like in more formal settings, you would use like the first name and then the family name, that kind of thing. If it was very intimate with friends or family, you might use the just the first name. Okay, uh, so postea tertium cognomen Augustus decretus senatus recepit. So postea means what? After. Afterwards, good. So afterwards, he. Third. He, Third. Well, we're going to go to our verb. So afterwards, he uh, received, right, kept it, good. Afterwards, he received a tertium cognomen. So that would be the third cognomen, which was Augustus. And how did he receive this name? By decree of the Senate. By decree of the Senate. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was reading the wrong one before. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Amir? Um, Publius Quintus uh, Quintum. Quintum, Furium ad um, Marcum Caecilium Luxero. Mm -hmm. um, I go on and on. It's up to you. Oh, yeah, I got the next one. So. Uh, Quintus. Where Magni Omni S. Um, Publius Quintus Furius said to Marcus Caecilius. Uh, that's said. I know it looks like it, but there's one letter difference. Not Dixerat, but Dixerat. Led. Good. So, so we have three different people in the sentence. So you have Publius. So Publius Dixerat, he led. had led. Perfect. Perfect. And he had led. Marcus Caecilius. Mm. He had led Quintus. Quintus Furius ad Marcum Caecilium to Marcus Caecilius. So Publius takes this poor friend with many children to Marcus, who is rich but has no children. So he's, Wait, like, he's being a broker. Mm -hmm. Publius led or? What, what tense? Duxerat. What tense is that? Had. Had led. Mm -hmm. Well, it would be a better option yeah. for, for them. If they were a younger son, and they wouldn't inherit everything that their father had. It made it easier for the remaining sons, because then you could divide the property into larger chunks, things like that. Um, so property always gets more than the other one. Uh, unless, someone, yeah, unless someone brought an infusion of new property or land or managed to make some money, which was hard for the aristocratic families, because they weren't supposed to work. They could own land and sort of work the land, but they weren't supposed to have jobs because that was considered sort of um, middle class. Or whatever. Yeah, so their, their estates did tend to get a little smaller. Uh, sorry, Emil. Go ahead. Uh, Quintus is a boy of great spirit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. um, Eum adoptare cupio. What is that going to mean? I, I want to, to adopt him. I want to adopt him. Mm -hmm. Dixon Marcus said Marcus. Is it present? Mm -hmm. Could be up, just present tense. Nick, do you want to take the last sentence? Sure. I am a dog tower. I, oh, wait, we did that one. Who may have familiar heavy tabit said sante patra matrum racha sororis? We did it. Um. He will live with my family, but he will often see his mother, father, brothers, and sisters. Very nice. Good. So it wasn't like they were saying goodbye. Okay, very nice. Were there any questions about that? So overall, did you find it an easy translation? Yeah. Time consuming, but easy. Good. I didn't do well with the tenses. So we'll, we'll go over, uh, we'll do a big verb review before we um, start our next major thing on verbs. Um, so then remember, there's the vocabulary, the review vocabulary for section one and section two here, which you will be responsible for on Thursday. Um, but I do want to go on to the um, next vocab from the red book. So 
Uh, you should have a list for it, I think. Uh, right. It's pretty good. That's okay. I told you, you, didn't, you don't need it. Uh, I don't know. You don't, you don't need to have uh, you don't need to bring your red book with you to class anymore. This is the vocabulary list for, and I'll be giving you all the grammar stuff orally as you go. So you, if you want to bring it to look at it, you can. You don't have to bring it. Uh, it looks at page 464. Which lesson? Uh, lesson 57. So the first word should be negotium. Okay. So negotium, what's the gender going to be? Negotium. Negotii, gender, neuter. Mm -hmm. So negotium means business, right? Because otium is what? Peace. Peace or leisure, right? When you're, when you're not doing anything, it's like your vacation. This is negotium, right? Not vacation, not leisure. The next word is exerkeo. So exerkeo is going to be what conjugation of verb? Second. Second, second right? Because if it has the E in front of the O in the first principal part, it has to be second. So exerkeo, exerkere. Third principal part is exerkui. And exerkitus. Exert, exercise, those are some derivatives. So it means to keep busy or to train. It's related to the word for army, which is exercitus. The next word is intelego. Of Lego, so intelligo, intelligere, third conjugation. Intellexi. Do they all have two L's? Two L's. And intellectus, also with two L's. Do you have a guess what intelligo means? does it look like in English? Intelligent. Intelligent, so it means to understand. So if someone's intelligent, what part of the um, Latin verb does intelligent come from? The second. Intelligens, intelligentis. What is that? from the first principle part, but what is intelligens, intelligentis? Let the noun. Let the noun. No. Present active participle. Present active participle. So intelligens means understanding, right? So if you're intelligent, you're understanding. You're getting it. Okay. Primito is the next one. Okay. Primito, just a compound of mito. So primito, primitere. Primisi, which remember has only one S. And primisus, which is going to have two S's. Okay. Uh, so primito, so mito means what? Send. To send, and pri means? Before. Before. So this means to send ahead. Okay. Like you would send a scout ahead of the army. Super sum. Okay. Super sum, so it's just a compound of esse. So super sum, super esse, super fui, and super futurus. Okay. So this does not mean to be super, sadly. It means to be left over. Like uh, superfluous, 
right? Or sur survive. The next word is kirkum. Okay. Kirkum, which is going to take the accusative. Remember, prepositions only take what two cases? Accusative or ablative. So kirkum takes the accusative. What does kirkum mean? Around. Around. Mm -hmm. What are some English words they use kirkum? Circle. Circle. It's really two. Okay. What else? Circumference. Circumference. Good. What else? Circumstance. Circumstance? Mm -hmm. Good. Circumnavigate, right? We're taking World History 2. Okay. Pry is the next one. So pry takes the ablative. And what did we say it's going to mean? Before. Before or in front of. In English, what does it become? Pre. Pre. So any word beginning with pre is really beginning with pri, right? So pre. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Preside. Like the president. Is it? What? Is it Um This is more because the diphthongs were collapsed in the Middle Ages. So the AE always crushed down into an E. So when it came across in sort of French and all that other stuff, it was, it was already crushed. Um, so super is the next one. Super takes the accusative. Okay. And what does super mean? Above. Above, over. Outen is the next word. Outen means however or but. Um, one thing about outen is that it will never be the first word in a sentence or a clause. It always wants to be the second word. Okay? So you want to make a note of that? Okay, you cannot use you cannot start a sentence without him. If you want to start a sentence with the word but, you're gonna use said. Okay. Uh, and there is one more word, sorry guys, I know it got cut off on your vocab list. Look at your new vocab list. Um, this is postquam. Okay, postquam means after, right? What is it? Doesn't it? Fade? It's not. So it's actually a conjunction. Okay. <coughs> so we have a couple different words. I guess you would post, right? We have post, which is what part of speech? What part of speech is post. Preposition. Preposition. Preposition, and it takes the what? What case does post take? Accusative. Accusative, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then we have post ea, which you guys translated a couple times last night. What does post ea mean? Afterwards. Good. Okay, and that's an adverb. So post is after or behind. Post ea is afterwards. And then post quam is a conjunction meaning after. Okay. So uh, can you give me in English just an example of a sentence where you would use post? Um, Adele? After the day. After the day comes the night? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so it would be a preposition. It would take the accusative. So how do you say after the day? Post. Good. Post the That would be fine. That's the accusative. Um, give me an example in English using post day after. Wait, okay. Um, using afterwards. Okay. So afterwards. <laughs> wait, so you, wait. Just use the sentence in English we use afterwards. So remember, it's an adverb, not a conjunction, so it's not going to be joining two clauses, right? Oh, so she left afterwards? Yeah, afterwards, like meaning after the party, after those things happened, she left. Okay? There so was no party. <laughs> <laughs> and post quam would be after the party ended, then she left. Okay, okay. does that make sense? Is the difference between them? So afterwards, she left. It's a shorthand for the whole clause using the conjunction after the party ended and she left. Okay. So they have three different uses even though they all start with post. Okay. Um, what time is it? 9.16. 9.16. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I want you guys to mostly be focusing on studying. Can I trust you to be, if I give you the time to study, will you actually study? Mark is laughing, so I'm taking that as a no. Uh, no, I'm, no. <laughs> I, so you usually don't trust us. So I, well, I don't trust you. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> will you, will you study? Okay, it's a lot of vocabulary, I know that, so help each other, go over your lists. Okay, so the quiz on Thursday is going to be the vocab from this chapter and the previous two chapters and the two review chapters in here. the previous two in the red book? In the red book. So three chapters from the red book and the two review ones from the green book. Okay. And, yeah. Don't say that anymore. So. And there will be reflexive practice on there also. Okay, so just like you might want to look over your Caesar sentences, those ones from their worksheet. Okay, I'll probably pull them or, or make very similar sentences to those. Okay. So much harder than one. Yeah, okay. So it's the